legend. Wait for it, Daryl. Hey guys, it's me, Legend. Wait for it, Daryl. And today we're gonna Star Wars. Yeah, so today, um, I just thought I could go into the Star Wars experience over in Santa Monica. Um, it's the final week to do it. It's basically this really cool Star Wars exhibit, um, randomly that popped up, but everyone's been raving about it. And this is like the last chance to do it. We don't know if they're gonna do it again. And if you guys don't know me, I love my Star Wars. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go drive to Santa Monica, go see some Star Wars, and have a fantastic way to start the new year. All right, guys, and here is the Star Wars fit today. I think I'm gonna have my hair down uh, once I'm at the museum. I'm gonna tie it up when I'm on the road, though. But yeah, um, got my belt, got my Jedi garb. Um, these are jeans. I'm gonna be a little simple with it today. But yeah, here is the entire fit today. Um, something a little simple but cool, uh, not really dark Jedi-ish, I don't know, I'm, I'm a force user, but I'm a nice looking force user, and that's all that matters. Uh, Perla's right next to me doing her eyebrows. Um, she's also wearing a Star Wars fit today. And this is Perla's Star Wars fit, oh uh, yeah. Yeah, that is a nice shirt. Who got you that shirt again? <laughs> exactly, and she's gonna look great. What is your favorite Star Wars movie again? It'd also be a fun time to mention she's never seen Star Wars before. She's nothing about it, but she's the one who wants to go to this. So um, I, you're, you're doing them right when they want to finally see Star Wars for the first time ever, right? Star Wars. All right, we got the dice. We got the girl. We are ready to go and do Star Warsy stuff. It's a 40 minute drive to Santa Monica from Long Beach. Um, do we have to get coffee? Mm -hmm. Do we have to? Mm -hmm. We're gonna get coffee and then we're gonna go to Santa Monica. Right there is the hospital where we did the charity thing for the toy drive with the kids and the Power Rangers. But here's coffee where we buy coffee and stuff. All right, I got my cake pop and my lemonade because I don't drink coffee. She's got her Starbies. We are now off to Santa Monica for Star Wars. Stormtroopers! Ooh, okay, I'm excited. It's Man Strike back. Here we come. Yes, the two most famous droids in Star Wars history. Here we go, 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 here we go. Now I'm fine. <gasps> Star Wars is tough. The power of myth. I was totally gonna read that without I took it out. But now you guys can read it. That's right, Yoda murdering his former clone troopers with zero mercy during Order 66. So we're currently in prequel trilogy era, which is, uh, don't shoot me in the foot guys, but my favorite era, Star Wars. Um, it's the one I grew up with. I see no flaws or issues with it. And uh, I can quote the entire prequel trilogy like the back of my hand. And then Kylo Ren is somewhere, for some reason, in the prequel trilogy era. I love Count Dooku. He has the lightsaber, the curved lightsaber that I would imagine my Jedi character would have. What do you think of this Star Wars and stuff so far? It is very cool, right? I'm gonna get her into Star Wars before the year is over. 
the Darth Maul section. And this is a life-size Toyota. Accurate, super serious, and wise like we know our Yoda. I love that in almost 40 years of Star Wars, we still don't know what race he is. 40, 50, I know that Star Wars is old. Okay. Now that is not a Toyota, like the car that the girl from Hooters got mad about, okay? That's just a Yoda. Ooh, whoa, show me the Star Wars shirt. Look at the cool Star Wars <laughs> shirt. Look at her, all proud of herself. Lightsaber room. Okay, so they had this closed off for some reason, no idea why. But look at the blasters. And then the lightsaber collection. And then if you look very closely, you see the Emperor. And it's glorious. The most non-toxic couple in Star Wars history. Okay, I think we're in the original trilogy exhibit now. Um, I've seen a lot of Tatooine. Uh, it's kind of weird because they have a lot of um, sequel trilogy stuff in here. Um, it's out of place among the prequel trilogy stuff. I don't know if they just ran out of space. Um, fun fact about me, those pod racing arcade machines they'd have, I'd always get first place. I was fantastic at them. Um, Pod racing is phenomenal. There's a Watto. Um, not as much. Oh yeah, this is pod racing. It's working. It's working. And prequel fans now. On a life-size Chewy. Is this really a life-size Chewy? That is a life-size Chewy. Remember at Disneyland, Chewy was like a foot over me. Wookiees are huge. Yeah, see? Wookiees typically are like seven feet tall. Chewy was seven feet and six inches. Here's the Falcon. And then someone actually donated their uh, uh, feudal era Stormtrooper outfit. So we actually can come over here and see the Emperor in his greatness. With his face clearly falling off, but surrounded by cardboard stormtroopers. Okay, these are just hot toys. I know my hot toys when I see hot toys. I mean, I'm not complaining, they're really nice hot toys. And they're going with a theme. Uh, Savage Opress, uh, Darth Maul's brother, Darth Malgus from the Nexial Republic series. Um, I played Nazi Republic for like, I mean, not uh, the Old Republic online game for a little bit, uh, but you know, I'm trying kind to of keep consistent with it. I ha can't play it on my Steam Deck, but I want to go. Um, uh, here is all the, the sequel trilogy guys. Um, contrary to popular belief, I actually like the sequel trilogy. I love everything Star Wars, um, so I'm not as big of a hater as other people are. And then here is the Lightsaber Collection with their Kyber Crystals right next to them, which um, I actually kind of appreciate the attention to detail. Um, other than... So we are actually allowed back here. Um, here are all the dark side lightsabers with the, the Kyber Crystals on them. Um, like I said, if I had a lightsaber, um, my own custom, it'd be a curve like Dooku had, because um, he was just the greatest duelist in Star Wars history, in my opinion. More lightsabers with the Kyber Crystals. And then there was a the little bar area we were blocked off earlier. Yeah, I don't know why they blocked it off. Probably just to keep the trail going. Yes, that's plenty to do here. Okay, um... We have not been here yet. Um... A Boba Fett concept. More Darksiders, uh... 
Darth Talon, she's from Star Wars Legacy. I actually have the first issue. Um, mint condition, by the way, that runs for like 400 bucks in my Star Wars collection. You should have seen it in the opening of the vlog. There's a Saw's Ventress. And then one of these things is not like the other. One of these things just doesn't belong. Can you tell me before I finish this song? Seriously, I have no idea why Jen is in this photo with all these dark feathers. Uh, special golden collection. Crop faces from the films of the alien creatures. And the Emperor's throne. I think we're allowed to sit in it because there's nothing blocking us off, which means I'm totally gonna sit in it. But first things first, sit in the chair, babe. Sit in the chair. Sit in the chair. Well, we're gonna find out, aren't we? Come on. Stand in the chair. Look at my queen's about to become a queen. Okay, you want me to sit in the chair? Like Disney immersive, but you know, you see the projectors, which I don't mind as much. <gasps> it's a Tarkin and a Leia in a torture box. With a Trying for the ambience here, I dig it. <gasps> I'll be going, no wonder it's so cold. We're in Hoth. Okay. Ooh, a wampa. I thought they only smelled bad on the outside. If you've ever played a Star Wars video game, you hate these things as much as I do. It's so funny watching her here trying to learn about Star Wars. There are other cosplayers here, which I, I understand, I get it. I mean, look at the fit. Um, and also, this is the last week this place is gonna be open, so I'm glad I fin managed to catch this before you know, it closed forever. Vader's March on oh, the Rebel. Oh no, that's interesting. There's Han and Carbonite, but they're on Hoth. Huh. Also, I'm not gonna. Yes, Carbonite Han Solo. So basically, um, in Empire Strikes Back, uh, Vader captured Han Solo and gave him the Boba Fett, but they needed a way to transport uh, Han Solo because he would have escaped. So they basically put his body into a metal sheet that he could not escape out of. It's a whole thing. I'll, I'll, you'll find, figure it out when I force you to watch the Star Wars movies. Like no, it's actually quite comfortable. You just get blind once you wake up. Real story, bros. I absolutely love your guys' fit, by the way. You look great. Of course, I was actually gonna ask if I could get a photo or a video with you guys, too. Okay. Okay, this is Endor. If you guys didn't know, my favorite Star Wars movie out of all nine of the trilogy films is going to be nine trilogy films. Uh, it's actually Return of the Jedi, and I just thought it was like the perfect Star Wars film with the best ending and build up and character development. So, when anytime I see Endor, I get all happy and elated. Well, that's why it was a Star Wars event created by the fans, babe. Um, so, I'm not gonna, I don't know if you guys can really hear it or tell, but 
The music is not Star Wars music because licensing is such a big deal and Disney would probably come after them with a fiery passion. But um, yeah, the music is very um, as legally Star wars as it can get. I actually miss this. The Rancor. This guy loves his pet, by the way. I cannot believe I almost used the whole section of this. Okay, this is like the Force Unleashed section though, because, okay, we got Maul, um, who was a boss fight with Proxy. We've got Shakti from the Force, oh wait, uh, Force Unleashed uh, in her fantastic attire. I can't, she's been killed off of Star Wars like 12 times. Uh, it's not really 12, something like five. But they keep figuring out new ways to kill her. Um, Okay, the beautiful chorus hunting in the background. Yoda and Dagobah. Mm -hmm. That's Admiral Akbar. Well, if there's one thing you will let you know, every something is a trap. Here's a calamari. I've raced on the planet Calamari. Yes. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Her love enemy being here. And then this is the Queen of the Crop, the Lord himself, Darth Vader. This is a life size Darth Vader in all six feet, eight inches of him. And it's a Skywalker. Look at him, so big and mean. This helmet that he cannot live without. Yeah, this this was done very well. Okay, I have no idea. Little versions of okay. Mmm. No, actually, it's a funny story. So there's um, a lesson to be learned about forcing a woman to wear an outfit she doesn't want to. Don't do it or she'll strangle you to death against her will. Um, Carrie Fisher even made like a big point of that in one of her interviews. And then, ooh, Jabba the Hutt, ooh. <laughs> Babe, do me a favor. And, no, just sit next to the throne. Huh? Sit next to the throne. Yes. Look at her. Look at her. Oh, so mm, Good morning, guards. I should have brought him. I'm friends with the Power Ranger because for Kim and Lee, he would have loved to have come to this. Uh, this is my favorite version of Luke when he's all Jedi Mastered out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are phenomenal. Um, so they made these straight out of cardboard. I have a friend, his name is William Miyamoto, who makes like real life Astro Droids and BB-8. Um, these are phenomenal art pieces though. See, you could do this, dude. you're very good. No, you're really good at making stuff like this. Believe in yourself, babe. Believe in yourself like I believe in you. Oh, we're totally gonna do one more run, but without you know the video. I can sign a book. Oh, babe, we can sign a book that we were here. I'm totally gonna sign it. Okay. Legend. Daryl. Come on, sign it. Sign the book. Sign the book. It is your destiny. She's signing the book. Now she's a Star Wars fan and she's never even seen a movie. Yeah, so 
so she offered to get me one, but last time I tried to do one of these metal Star Wars, uh, metal kits for a Transformers one, I brutalized it, so never again. I'm never going again. They also have this really cool VR thing. And then the gift shot with um, Rogu, some awesome shirts, archives, the Mandalorian cups. I need to start buying Star Wars cups because I have too many as it is. This is like the gift shop area. Nothing licensed, by the way. Ooh, it's Star Wars shades. Babe, do you want Star Wars shades? Star Wars Cunt, Star Wars Lunchbox. Uh, but yeah, we're pretty much toward the end of the exhibit. Um, kind of maybe get a tote bag or a backpack later. Yeah, we're gonna do one more walk around of the whole uh, exhibit, and but without recording. And yeah, um, this was it, guys. This was the exhibit, and I really liked it. Mm -hmm. She got me a shirt. Thank you for the shirt. I appreciate it. I have no idea what this name's. Oh, those are where it's been. But yeah, she got me a shirt. Um, so yeah, uh, we have now officially explored the entire exhibit. We got like an hour left on our parking, but we're gonna go eat. And apparently, there is a Willy Wonka IHOP here that she really wants to go see. So we're gonna, that's probably gonna be our dinner today. We're gonna I'm show you a few clips of that, and then we're gonna go drive on the road. Um, yeah. Willy Wonka, Willy Wonka, come with me, and you'll see in a world of our imagination. So this is an IHOP. I don't know if it's open or not, though. Um, I'm gonna open those doors, try to open those doors and see. Yeah, it's closed, we ain't getting in. But it's really nice to see that. So, um, yeah, no Willy Wonka for us. Um, so we're gonna go walk around and try to find some food and then drive back to Long Beach. Guys, that was pretty much my entire Star Wars, the fan strike back experience, uh, plus a little cameo from Willy Wonka. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please like, share, and subscribe for more content. Comment below what you guys thought of this video. And as always, guys, I am nothing without you, so thank you. Uh, please have a super mega day. And as always, you will stay classy. You will stay classy. That's all I got. Have a great day, guys.